Yeah, Don. My name is Doug. Uh, I'm, I'm located actually in North Carolina. It's a little, a little town outside of Charlotte. Uh, probably nobody's ever heard of. <laughs> we have, what, I think 1,500 people living in this township, so it's not a big one. Easy to go through. One stoplight, I believe. Yeah, we have one. I think we got two. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's going to heat up, drop off. I think next week we're hoping it'll drop into the 80s. Okay, uh, very good. Well, it'll be uh, it'll be nice, uh, uh, and and of course it's always nice if the humidity level is uh, acceptable. Once you get that humidex up pretty hot, as you well know. Anyhow, I'm just enjoying a bit of a cool breeze. I'm sitting here on a veranda in a shaded area, and uh, there's a bit of a breeze blowing, so it's quite comfortable. Well, I won't hold it on 030, Charlie, but thanks for coming back. Oh, I got one question for you before you depart. Um, I recently acquired this uh, ID52A. And I thought I'd set it up so that my coordinates would be showing to the station that I'd be talking to. Uh, I'm just wondering, do you notice any uh, any uh, coordinates? Uh, over? Well, I wasn't looking, but give me a few moments here. Go ahead and transmit and see if anything comes up. Yeah, okay, I'll uh, I'll go ahead and uh, give a, uh, a transmission here. Yeah, so I'm not sure that I've got that set up right on the ID-52, the ICOM ID-52A. So, uh, anyway, uh, perhaps I've chatted enough to uh, allow you to... Uh, inspect your uh, display there. So back it comes, uh, Victor Echo 3 uh, in Canada uh, listening. Now my 5100 has no problem with that. It kicks them out like a slot machine. But um, this one doesn't seem to show up. I, I don't know, maybe it's steady. I've never really spent too much about whether or not my GPS uh, had any show up, but uh, yeah, the, the, the radio is capable. I'm sitting here looking at one right now. It's capable of it, but I wish I could instruct you specifically on how to improve that. I I don't know how. And three GWG. Okay, there's N3 DWG. I think maybe with info. Uh, would you like to go ahead, sir? Uh, that just checked in. Sure. So a couple of uh, things. One, uh, I had, and I was not seeing your GPS information when you keyed up, and I was seeing the other stations. Uh, CWE. I'm not sure it's called, but I saw his GPS information key up from his 5200. Yours I did not. If you want to hold on, I could probably, wait just a second, I'll go look at the menus, and I could probably pretty quickly tell you what you need to do to turn that functionality on. Yeah, okay, uh, sure, I'll, uh, I'm just sitting out, outside here uh, on the veranda relaxing, so if you don't mind, uh, that would be appreciated. Uh, my first name is Don. I spell Delta for November. My call Victor Echo 3 uh, Papa Mike V 3 p.m. Over, over. V 3 p.m. Uh, v 3 UGG. Uh, yeah, Don, uh, your info, your, your information is uh, not showing up. Okay. Um, down near Chatham, yeah, good good, uh, good afternoon. Yeah, okay, well, obviously I haven't set it up right, so I'll have to uh, <clears throat> rely on uh, maybe some, um, some help or direction. <laughs> it's not terribly important, but I just thought it'd be kind of cool, you know, to, uh, to go ahead and do that. And uh, excuse me for forgetting your name. Uh, give me your name one more time, please. Over.
yeah, no worries. Uh, the name here is Gord, Golf Oscar Romeo Delta. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I, I mean, I, I hear you fine and everything. I see your call sign and all that stuff, but, uh, yeah, no, uh, no position uh, reporting or anything like that. So, uh, I don't, some don't actually want to, and some do. So, <laughs> if you do, I mean, all right, it's not worth it. Sorry. Yeah, okay, uh, Gord, very good, very good. Well, I'll say 73, and I'm waiting on another station or two to drop back, so, uh, Gord, thanks, have yourself a good day, sir. We'll look forward to chatting soon. Uh, uh, I'll listen for any final final, and then we'll turn it over to uh, the other station. Victor Echo 3, Papa, Mike Mobile. Well, I thought you might be able to help me out, Don. I'm not certain how I did it. I used... Uh what is it, RT systems to set up the uh, software in this radio. And uh, I may have checked something in there at one time, but I'm not certain. There is a setting in the menu. I just don't have the manual in front of me. And I'm sitting here watching a barbecue, so <laughs> I wish I could be better help to you, but I'm not. WD6, CW. Name is Don, standing by. N3 GWG. Okay, I think it's N6 DWG. Uh, go ahead, uh, please. Uh, Victor Rick with her pop a mic, standing by. Okay, I believe I found what you need to do. Just give me one second here. Uh, uh, Alright. Uh, go ahead and press the menu button on the upper left. Okay, I think you told me to press uh, perhaps the menu button. I'm getting a little bit of breaking up. I don't know whether it's on my end or what, but uh, did you uh, did you uh, acknowledge that or at least say that I was to press the menu? Is that a Roger? Yes, I'm, I'm going to give you all the instructions because every time I turn it up, it takes me out of the menu that I'm in. So I'm going to check real quick. I, I, I believe I see what you need to do to send it. Hold on one second. Okay, Roger, Roger, QSL there. Yeah, very good. And uh, my wife is uh, sitting beside me, and she volunteered to uh, <laughs> write down the uh, instructions. So uh, I'll just stand by and uh, see how you make out there. I do appreciate the help indeed. Uh, Victor Echo 3, Papa, Mike. Anybody. 